for this playoff series. Huge game for both teams. Let's drop the puck. You've been waiting for this all day. I've been waiting for this. Cheryl's been waiting for it. Oh, boy. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're on your way. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Puck picked up by Kuzmenko. Takes a bump but hangs on. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Hironik. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Puts it wide to that. The goaltender's really challenging and there's not much net available. He's looking to really fill it and he can't find the spot. X marks it, he doesn't hit it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. The Flames played along the boards. Bessler's got it into offensive territory. Puck scooped up by Miller. Shot! Oh, I think that goes off the mask, and it stays out, and play continues. I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you got to be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you got to do. Put everything in front of it if you want to make the stop. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Big time hit in the open ice. Big time stop there. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Calgary's looking to break out. Moves it to Mantha. Steps inside. Great heads up play with the stick by Sharon Govich. Quick feed to Mantha. Receives the pass. Moves it quickly over to Mantha. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Susi. Good battle along the boards for the puck. He's got it behind the cage. And that's taken away on the offensive end by Hoaglander. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, he makes an incredible save on a point playing shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. Sends it in deep. The Canucks gain control of the puck. And he takes the dish. Takes that pass back at the point. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed. Here we go, pucks in deep. Balls lugging the puck. And he slides it quickly to Lombard. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And he loses control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Susi. Calgary's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Dishes it off! Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he serves it across to Lombard. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Past the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. He tips it, and he comes up big again. And he's going to pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage in play and much needed of that. I can't overstate how timely and important that this cover is, James. When you're on your heels and you're chasing the game, you need a reset button. Goaltender allows it to happen. Handles it along the blue line. And that carries off a body in the lane. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Canucks have it from their own end. Gets the puck behind his net. The Canucks will play from the defensive zone. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Miller's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. The Canucks gain possession. With the stop. Poked away in the offensive end. 
No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Brothers, man, you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle on that front. He's outworked already. Wrist with the Oh, just misses. What an opportunity there. Uh, you know, in the pregame, the coach and the players are talking about getting on the board first, sending a clear message. He has an opportunity, and he misses. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Pedersen's going off for cross-checking. of the stick at center by Myers. And the puck's booted away. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Sends it over to Zeri. Puts him right into the wall. Wow, this is great. He closes quickly, and you can hear the boards reverberate, James. This was a huge hit. And a successful clearing attempt. Pedersen's almost ready to get back on the ice. Myers takes the puck. Calgary's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Coach won't be happy with that. James didn't make the PK unit move at all. You have to create some motion to make adjustments based on what they're doing, and this power play unit didn't do any of it. Here they come on the attack. Quick pass to Anderson. And now he moves it quickly to Kadri. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. Oh, and he misses on a great eight-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. In the final moments of this period, still looking for our first goal. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. Here's a short pass to Forborn. And he slides it quickly to Garland. Picked up along the boards by Pedersen. is in the box. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Can't maintain possession. 
Good fight for the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Huberto. Quick pass across to Uyghur. Oh, great play to sidestep the poke check. Tremendous athletic stuck with the glove by Demko. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. DeBrusks into the offensive zone now on the attack. Moves it to Uyghur. Picked off by Sharon Govich. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Feeds it over. Takes a shot. Handles that one. Oh, look at this. Takes a shot. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. <laughs> Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And they win the defensive zone face off. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall. He scores! Off the pipe and pulls in the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, and isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor, and they go right into the net. Well, he makes a beautiful play for this goal, James. It's all in the pass, his deception, and he really eludes his defender with his eyes. Then he's got his hands as an extension of his body, and how about his feet? Everything is moving, his awareness is off the charts, and as a result, they get the goal. The Canucks have been pushing and pushing and pushing, and they finally get a goal here in period number two. I really like their game, James, and they haven't gotten frustrated, and that's a key element, especially when you're getting a ton of chances and you haven't been able to cash in. But they do execute, they convert, so this should open the game up for them. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Vancouver's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Takes it from the right side. Shot! Too many bodies in the way. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And now he moves it to Paul. Knocked around but keeps it going. Slides it over to Besser. Slides it across. Solid hit on the play. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Shot! Huge stop by Demko. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Demko's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaged right now. Backlund's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Mantha's almost back on the ice. Stops him with the glove. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Vancouver's ahead, 1-0. The Flames will start off on the attack after winning the draw.
Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Garland's crossed the line and gained the zone. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. After that last goal, the coach is showing his displeasure with his team. He's just not happy with the effort and the details at this moment. Vancouver's dialed in here tonight, now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now, goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding the way to get pucks through to the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. They fight for it along the boards. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's the shot, and that was stopped. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Vancouver's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Susie stick handling in his own zone. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Dishes it off, and he rings the post! working hard and they're still in the game here. Yes, they hit the pipe and it went out, but they're still in the game. They have to fight right to the end. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Manta. Grabs the puck. Just wide. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Mantha's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Canucks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. The Flames win the draw. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Looks like lineups are set. And they're ready to get things back underway. Vancouver's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And he takes the pass. Oh, look at this chance. Here's a shot. Big save in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. The Canucks have it now. And the puck's kicked free. Now a quick pass to Garland. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Mahal's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rooney. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Canucks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Off target. Slides it over with pace to Uyghur. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. The Canucks have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Calgary's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Pass across to Besser.
Vancouver's got the puck against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Susie. From behind the net. Takes the feet at the back end. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kuzmenko. Dumps it in. Vancouver's got the puck. And it's kicked away. DeBrusque's got the puck in his own zone. And he elects to play the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Cuts to the point. Keeps it over. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Carries it across the line. Centering pass. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And now he tries to get it across to Anderson. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. Puts it on net. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Takes the feed at the point. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Zeri. Here's the chance on the attack. Taken along the wall by Mira Menov. And the crowd urging for them to shoot as time ticks down. Turn that chance aside. There's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And the clock is ticking here on period number three. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Flames have been back on their heels throughout this entire game. The good part, they got 20 minutes left to play, and it's a close game. They got to find an opportunity to get a shot off, James, and that means generating speed, generating offense, and you'll only start if they can get into the offensive zone. Great defensive stick work on the play. Looks to get the puck over to Besser. Looking to make something happen along the board. And that was off the player in front. Slides the puck over. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, what a save by Demko. The goaltenders can't make the save if they can't get in front of the puck, James, so he anticipates this so well. But it's also skating. That power push cross crease makes the save. Calvary's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. And a post check knocks the puck away. Garland's had such an impressive night offensively. You know that's his wheelhouse as he loves to have the puck on his stick. He creates, he's confident with it. He scores! And there's the hat trick and this place is silent. Well, he's looking his chops when he goes on the road, hey James? And he gets his hattie. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. Vancouver's made it a three-goal game here early in this third period. This is starting to feel like this is going to be the theme for the rest of the night. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been a shooting clinic, James. They've been able to get the puck on their stick and fire it at will. And, you know, they started this third period with a sense of urgency, the same urgency they had through the first and the second. Things are looking up. They can set a cruise control in right now with the three-goal lead. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Solemn check to slow him down. Vancouver's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. The Canucks win the defensive zone faceoff. Here they come up along the wing. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And that's poked away by Susie. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Back at the point, they set it up. Denies him! Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Deflected 
contested shot. Everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Well, the game has simply gotten worse. And after that last goal, the coach's reaction says it all. He is not impressed with this team. Just looking going up and down the bench. Just riding players out right now for their lack of effort. The Canucks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Taken by four. The Flames gain possession of the puck here on the offensive end. Shuts them down. Demko's had a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there. And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. <laughs> Vancouver's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck across to Suter. And it's a quick pass to Heinen. Runs him hard against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Fogler. Quick feed to Hirona. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Garland's already got three goals in the game. I never had these, James, but it's got to feel pretty good. Vancouver's got a lead in this game predominantly because of that second line and the offensive production that they've had in this game. There's a lot of motion. They're playing well. They've got good speed and have been really impressed with their performance. Stoppage and play offside the call. Here in the back half of this period, the Canucks came out with jump and they have been non-stop right from the start leading 4 nothing. Pushes it across to Pedersen. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Uh, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Angles it over to Weger. A chance! Still keeps the hold of the puck. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Demko. The Canucks have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. The draw, they take possession. Feeds the puck over to Besser. Smart defensive play there. Moves it quickly over to Sharangovich. And he takes the feed. Scores! And then finally put it on through offensively. Oh, that's got to feel good. And they're hoping that the floodgates will now open because you know that they've had a real effective game. They've been hard on the puck. It just hasn't gone in for them, James. But they haven't gotten frustrated. They stuck with the game plan. And here they are. recognize that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also, look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much needed goals. Pass back to the point. Knocks the puck down with a stick. And he slides it quickly to DeBrus. Good hit on the play. Has to Manta. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Susie's got it in the defensive end. Directed over to Besser. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Bean. Tries to feed it over to Manta. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Susie. Lowers the boom with that hit. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a reactionary save on the one-timer. Big save by the goaltender once again. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Strong defensive effort. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. 
And now it's grabbed by Paul. Here's a short pass to Zary. Tape goes around the poke chip. And that's off a stick. Moves it to Holtman. And he dodges the poke chip there. And they keep the pressure on. Grabbed along the board by Paul. Now over to Kadri. Gains the zone from the right. Puck grab by Hironic. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. Go! In a lead, but even more critical is the next game, James. With that 2-1 lead, that game can mean the series tied, or they have a two-game lead. And you know what happens when you got two-game lead? Your opponent starts tightening their sticks because they are behind the eight ball. So it's all about pressure now and seeing if they can continue to respond. A fun night of playoff hockey, and these playoffs, well, they have been intense, and they have been electrifying so far. We will see you at the next broadcast. For Cheryl, I'm James. Good night.